Today we are going to um, be reviewing and reading The Stinky Cheese Man and Fairly Other Stupid Tales. Chicken Lickin, The Really Ugly Duckling, The Tortoise and the Hare, Cinder Rumple Stillskin, Little Red Running Shorts, Jack's Bean Problem, and much, much more. This book was by John Skiza and Lane Smith. I found a kernel of wheat, said Little Red Hen. Now who will help me plant this wheat? Where is that lazy dog? Where is that lazy cat? Where is that lazy mouse? Wait a minute. Hold everything. You can't tell your story right here. This is the end paper. The book hasn't even started yet. Who are you? Will you help me plant the wheat? I'm Jack. I'm the narrator, and no, I can't help you plant the wheat. I am a very busy guy trying to put a book together. Now why don't you just disappear for a few pages? I'll call you when I need you. But who will help me tell my story? Who will help me draw a picture of the wheat? Who will help me spell the wheat? Listen, Hen, forget the wheat. Here comes the title page. The title page for the Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. I know, I know. This page is upside down. I meant to do that. Whoever looks at that dedication stuff anyhow, if you really want to read, you can always stand on your head. <laughs> Who would stand on their head to read a book? What would be another way that we could read this page? That's right. We can turn it upside down. So it says, this book is dedicated to our close, personal, special friend. You, J.S. and L.S. Introduction. <clears throat> A long time ago, people used to tell magical stories of a wonder and enchantment. Those stories were called fairy tales. Do you know of any fairy tales? Hmm. Jack and the Beanstalk? Cinderella, the tortoise and the hare, that's right. These stories were, or those stories are not in this book. The story, the stories in this book are almost fairy tales, but not quite. The stories in this book are fairly stupid tales. I mean, what else would you call a story like Goldilocks and the Three Elephants? This girl was walking through the woods, smells peanut porridge cooking. She decides to break into the elephant's house, eat the porridge, sit in the chairs, and sleep in the beds. But when she gets in the house, she can't climb up on the baby elephant's chair because it's too big. She can't climb up on Mama Elephant's chair because it's much too big. And she can't climb up on Papa Elephant's chair because it's much, much too big. So she goes home. The end. Red running shorts, and if you don't think that's fairly stupid, 
you should read Little Red Running Shorts. Or maybe The Stinky Cheese Man. In fact, you should definitely go read the stories now. Because the rest of this introduction just kind of goes on and on and doesn't really say anything. I stuck it on the end of here so it would fill up the page and make it look like I really knew what I was talking about. So stop now. I mean it. Quit reading. Turn the page. If you read this last sentence, it won't tell you anything. Signed, Jack. Up the Hill, Fairy Tale Forest, 1992. Surgeon General's Warning. It has been determined that these tales are fairly stupid and probably dangerous to your health. Chicken Lickin. Once upon a time, Chicken Lickin was standing around when a piece of something fell on her head. She wasn't the brightest thing on two legs, so she started running around in circles, clucking. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Chicken Lickin ran to her friend, Ducky Lucky, and clucked. Ducky Lucky, Ducky Lucky. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, cracked Ducky Lucky. Chicken Lickin and Ducky Lucky ran to their friend, Lucy Lucy, and yelled, Goosey Lucy, Goosey Lucy. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, honked Goosey Lucy. Chicken Lick and Ducky Lucky and Goosey Lucy ran to their friend Cocky Locky and yelled, Cocky Locky, Cocky Locky, the, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. We must tell the president. Let's go, crowed Cocky Locky.